Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Finally, let's update our view on the Bitcoin market. So here, the recent Fed statement brings some adjustments as well, not only on Forex and gold market, but Bitcoin market uh, situation has changed on the intraday charts. But in general, speaking about our major pattern, the reaction was not strong enough to change something. So actually, you could see that as we discussed already for, the, for this hand shoulders pattern, it will remain valid if even market will drop back to the 63 or even 60 area because here is where the potential right arm bottom might be formed it might be slightly higher but in general until this level the shape will remain valid it means that the pattern also will remain valid and keep chances to work so from that standpoint our major task here is we know the direction with that we intend to trade in particular speaking this hand shoulders point on the bullish context uh, the problem to us is to catch right point for entry last time we have talked about possible butterfly passion here uh, suggesting that it might be uh, minor shorter passion minor shorter here uh, and uh, intraday traders also could be in focus on this uh, butterfly passion but you can see that Fed statement has brought some adjustment and butterfly is not valid anymore. So uh, for the daily traders, we talked about the scale in process. So you could split your position, take it in parts. When the market will reach the next support area, you could add more to your position. And by this action, you could create average good entry point, entry price for, for the uh, all, overall position. For the conservative tra uh, traders, we are uh, recommend to just wait when the bottom on the right arm will be formed so currently as the butterfly has been erased and market as you can see has slightly dropped below the b point lows under this area it means that the spectrum is not valid anymore and we're watching for the other opportunities for trading uh, let's first uh, speak about our most conservative approach if you calculate here the extension to the downside with this ABCD passion, you will get the XOP around 62.70, so 63 roughly. So it, this is the level that we already talked about, but now we also have this ABCD passion that creates a nice harmonic uh, relation with the left arm as well. So this is some kind of the conservative entry point. On the lower time frame still, you could consider some different uh, patterns as well. So on the 4 hour time frame chart, you could see that overall reaction stands very similar to the gold market reaction. That gold market also has formed a kind of the bearish engulfing pattern. We talked about this in today's video. And I also take a look before this upper action started. Market has completed the ABCD passion that we talked about. We said that those of you who like to take the long position should try to take it as close to these lows as possible. For instance, you could watch for some kind of the ABCD passion here. Maybe this will be a better opportunity. So uh, reaction on the OP was really nice. So you can see really fast action. It's the same as in the gold market as well. But later, market has won bearish engulfing passion. It's rather significant on the size. So. Uh, while we're watching for major entry point for the daily pattern, I mean the hand shorts, we could also pay attention to this minor tactical pattern. And probably it will enough for trading until the end of the week. So it's today, tomorrow probably. And as you know, engulfing patterns suggest a kind of the ABCD downside performance. So in most cases, it means that if this engulfing pattern will work properly, we should get some attempt of the market to move lower and reach near around 64, 64, 50 area. Also take a look, maybe it will be reaching the XOP around 64, 24. It's also possible, but this definitely bearish pattern and it uh, suggests that currently 
it's not really a good background for considering taking the new long position here. So we need to see what will happen. Maybe we will get much better entry opportunity uh, in the beginning of the next week, closer to this, to this conference support area. That's what we have currently on the Bitcoin market. On the hourly chart, I do not see something really special. So it brings nothing new to the picture that we already have on the full term chart. So that in towards what we have uh, as a bottom line. Major bullish context still valid. Hand shoulders are still valid. But the recent performance suggests that uh, market still could try to form normal right arm. Which will be, uh, that will be a bit deeper than uh, stand right, right here. It's more harmonic to the left arm. So next downside target that we're considering if it will be reached somewhere around 64, 64, 50. And then we will see what will happen. So whether the market will go lower to this major XLP or not. So that will be the next question that we'll try to answer. But currently we're not considering any new long positions and taking a look closely how market will behave with this recently formed bearish engulfing pattern. Uh, that suggests downside continuation and supposedly to the area that we have just specified.